These uniquely colored pools, sitting in what looks like the literal middle of nowhere, are no doubt strange. But they're also somewhat familiar. If you've ever stared out the window of an airplane, you must have seen something like this. Different patterns, grids, and shapes. It's a perspective that you can only get when traveling thousands of feet in the air. Hi, my name is Alexander Heilner. I'm a photographer and an artist living in Baltimore, Maryland. I teach at the Maryland Institute College of Art, or MICA, where I'm a professor of photography and digital imaging. Alexander is a specific type of photographer who enjoys taking pictures from a different angle than most. For many, many years, I've been making a lot of artwork and particularly landscape photography, which is really focused on um, where the natural and the artificial elements of our world coexist. About 10 years ago, I began hiring small planes and pilots to take a look at the landscape from up above and start documenting places where it seemed like we've been leaving huge marks on the landscape. And one of the landscapes that caught his eye was this place, a potash mine in southern Utah. Potash is a substance that has been used since ancient times for a number of uses, but in the last couple hundred years has mainly been used as a fertilizer. And is basically it's one of the main ways of getting potassium, which is one of the most fundamental elements that plants need to grow well. The potash is hidden away underground, so mining companies pump water down after it, flushing it out into these great big pools, where they sit until all the water has evaporated, leaving only the potash. In June of 2007, I was flying across the country on a commercial flight from New York to San Francisco, and I looked out my window somewhere on the middle of the flight, and way off in the distance, in the middle of a stark red desert landscape, were these amazing pools of blue water just shimmering on the horizon. I mean, it was absolutely magical. It's rare that I've seen anything that stunning and that surprising, um, even in all the flying I've done back and forth across the country. Alexander was so transfixed by the sight that he soon returned, hired a small airplane, and shot these photos. The abstract ones are really beautiful and really amazing in a way that really engages your eye and your senses and asks you questions kind of almost about what is photography and what is painting and what is mining and what is the landscape. I think almost any place can be the subject of an amazing photograph. I hope that these images are inspiring to others to look around and, and see their world a little bit differently. If you want to see more unique perspectives from around the world, watch this episode on the mysterious Marfa ghost lights in Texas. Or check out this one on the wild wonders of Yellowstone National Park. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.